So let us start illustrating this beautiful colorful fish net dress and for that you need a crocky, a draped crocky. You can design any kind of dress you want. For fish cut, this fish net, what you need to do is properly render the skin. Until the skin is not properly rendered, the effect of fish net will not come effectively. So you need proper skin rendering. For that, do the base coat first. In the base coat, I am taking this brown color and the ratio of water is more than the color. Once the base coat is completed, after that we will go forward towards the highlighting such as the collarbones, the neck area, we, we have to add the shadows basically. So for that, the ratio of color should be more than the water. I am giving the collarbones, the cheek, the jaw lines and after that, after outlining, I will merge it with the water. Outlining the collarbone, the neck, below neck shadow, the neck bone, the shadows and after that I'll merge it with some of water. As usual, you can check out my previous skin rendering videos for perfect detailed skin tutorial. outlining and then merging it with water this is how we used to render the whole skin part and after that we will go forward toward our fish net so the body part are almost completed Once skin rendering is completed, take a black pencil color. I will be taking a black pencil color for fish net. And also you can use a black pen or sketch pen. Anything according to the preference of pores. Whether you want to take wider pores or narrow pores, you can do that. For the fish net, you have to imagine where the garments are having the stitch lines. The stitch line basically lies in the neck area, the arm, the sleeves. Below sleeve you can see a, you have to give a thick line like how I am doing. I am giving a thick line to show the seam area. Or you can see stitch lines are quite wider. So I am giving this wider line for that. Also, as we are rendering, we are drawing the fish net. Fish net is transparent. So for that, you can also see in any kind of fish net garment, the back view is visible. So for the back view, we are also giving the stitch line at the back. Start giving the crisscross pattern. Yes, fish net is basically made of the crisscross pattern the crisscross blocks so start making and make sure that the highlights of the body parts such as the collarbone the bust area the line should be curvy there because the bust area the collarbone these body parts are quite above quite upward so we need to give a curvy line over there 
to make the proper effect this is very very essential we have to repeat the same thing all over the fish net area you can adjust the pores wider and narrow according to your preference do the same on the sleeves and make sure you should imagine the folds first you know the sleeves having the sleeves in my garment is quite flary at the end there are so so many of flares there so the lines will go curvy so make sure your line shouldn't be straight and the fold should be visible coming on to the next sleeve you can see that there's a two stitch lines that is the uh, one for the back view and one for the front making the fold line so that it will become easier for us to just draw the lines you can see my lines are going curvy because this is a fish net and that pattern that criss cross blocks cannot go straight on the sleeves especially on the flary sleeves so this is the basic and we have to repeat this basic thing all over the fish net area this is our uh, the downward part of the dress which is very very flary there's so much of folds and flares in this part so doing it faster first of all giving the folds and then we will start drawing our criss cross pattern So this is the basic and the basic is done. Now what we have to do is give the real effect. You can see the white area, the area apart from the hand, that is the back view that contains the back view of fish net and to show that we have to give extra lines. We have to imagine the lines of the back side of the fish net. So I'm adding extra lines to it to give the real effect. mention that i'm not doing this on the hand area because the hand area the fish net of the hand area shows the front part whereas the part apart from the skin shows the front and back part so you should mention that we don't have to add extra lines on the skin So this is how fish net is done. Now after the completion of coloring of whole dress, we will again render the fish net area. But first, we should complete our dress, and for that, I'm just giving a stripe, the messy stripe pattern, to the dress of many colors because I'm making it quite colorful. otherwise you can add any kind of print you want 
like floral, check or anything. So I'm taking this very light yellow or you can say lemon yellow and adding more of water and less of color. I'm just doing this. Now doing the same with blue color because I'm making it colorful after that I'll use orange and maybe the dark yellow you can do according to your preference you can add green or something you can make in dual color or tri color or more than that that's up to you. so the basic is done now what we have to do is we have to just give shadows with black shadows or folds for that first of all let us make the folds on the sleeve this is very puffy sleeve at the end you can see this is very very puffy so there a lot of folds should be mentioned so for that i'm just doing it with watercolor drawing lines and merging it with bit of water i drawn the lines first and after that i merge it with little of water to add darkness to show the folds also on the armpit on the side seam on the bust area i'll add the same texture because you can see in any garment the shadow lies in the side seam obvious in the armpit area in the elbows basic this is the very basic concept below the bust below the hip so here are some areas where the shadow falls so just darkening it a bit do not make it too much dark just a little again doing the folds of the next sleeve so this is done now what we have to do is just take the pencil and render the fish net give highlight and onto the above the bust and the shoulders make the folds visible and highlighted i'm just darkening that area for the folds on both the sleeves i'm just adding on and highlighting the folds basically that we have done before also because this is the final part of the illustration so the finishing should be done very well
For the perfect finishing you can also use sketch pen for the seam line darkening the seam line the stitch line everything I'm giving finishing with this pencil the pencil color I'm just giving finishing to all over the dress Now I'm outlining the skin with brown color, uh, brown pen, you can use micro tip pens or the, or the pointed pens for the outlining or it is optional, that's up to you. I'll be giving the same texture in the heels as done in the dress. Heels dry. Let us do the hair. For that, do the base coat and then take the color more and give some highlight. You can check out my previous videos for particular hairstyle renderings. That will be more easier for you. You can add on the facial features to the illustration. As this is not my style, so I don't do the uh, facial features but you can add now rendering my heels with this black pencil for finishing up the hairs I'm just adding some black touches with this sketch pen
and tada our fish net dress is completed do practice this at home and if you guys love this video do like share and subscribe thank you for watching